Hello everyone welcome to WAGHL. In this video, I will show you how to create a chatbot using the list feature in GHL's workflow automation. This is a highly demanded feature, and it's easy to combine both tools to create a chatbot for yourself or for your clients. Let's start by reviewing what we have already done. So far, we've created a menu list, where you have seen by typing, menu, will trigger the list to pop up as a reply message. Let me quickly show you a recap. When I type menu here, you'll see the menu list pops up just as we set it up. Now, let's automate this process so users don't have to type anything. They'll receive the menu directly from the GHL system. To do that, you'll need to open workflow automation in GHL, create a workflow, and set the trigger to customer reply. Under the customer reply trigger, select the reply channel as SMS. After that, you can add a condition using GHL's built-in if-else logic. For example, I've set up a condition where the incoming message is either hi or test. You can name it whatever you like, but in this case, I'm using these as examples. When the message matches either of these, I want to trigger the main menu list we've created. So after this, you need to add a webhook here. So you can add either a normal webhook or the premium action. Click on the plus sign and under action you can search for send list. Here select WA send list. You can name it anything whatever you want. And you need to put the keyword here. Our keyword is menu. So let me put menu here and after this you need to save it. Or if you want to save the cost then. Instead of using premium action you can use a normal webhook as well. Let me show you what you need to do. To do this, I will add a webhook, just as we did before. Here you can choose normal webhook instead of using GHL custom webhook. Here, I've named my webhook, main menu, but feel free to name it anything that fits your workflow. You'll need to input the URL, which you can find in the help portal. After entering the correct URL, it's important to add the custom data including the keyword. The keyword determines which menu pops up when the user sends a specific message, like, hi, or, test. In this case, the keyword is, menu, because that's what we set up in the previous video. So, make sure the keyword matches what you've previously defined. Now, when someone types, hi, or, test, to the GHL connected number, the menu will pop up just like it did before when we used the menu keyword. Don't forget to click on save action and save the workflow and now let me go to WhatsApp and type hi to see if it works. As you can see, the same menu that popped up earlier with the menu keyword now appears automatically when I type hi. It still functions as before, letting me choose options like sales or technical support. If I press sales the sub menu we created in the previous steps will appear now let's say you want to send a specific message when a user selects free trial from the menu you can set this up as well go back to your workflow and add a condition for the free trial option when someone selects free trial you can configure it to send a message i have set this up so that when the reply message is free trial it triggers a message offering a 14-day free trial. Let's test it. I'll select free trial from the menu. You'll see the message that I set up is sent automatically. And there it is. The message I set up in workflow automation was delivered successfully. Let's go through one more example. Instead of selecting sales, let's say someone opts for technical support. The sub-menu for technical support we created will pop up if they want information related to their subscription. We can create a workflow for that as well. Go back to workflow automation, add another condition, and label it something like subscription related. Be sure the reply message matches the keyword you set up in the menu for technical support. This is crucial for it to work correctly. To avoid any errors, it's best to copy and paste the exact keyword once that's done, save your changes. Now, let's test it by selecting subscription related from menu. You will see the subscription message I set up appear. 
This is a simple yet effective chatbot that your customers will love. You can easily build chatbots for bookings, sales, or any other service. It's entirely up to you what kind of chatbot you want to create. This feature is very powerful and user friendly. And by combining lists with workflow automation, you can build advanced chatbots. This is an incredibly useful feature, and I encourage you to start using it right away. Thank you.